last year before uh, being beaten by Simon Whitlock, 6-3. And we saw him a fortnight ago in Hildesheim. Another victim of an outstanding Ronnie Baxter, beaten in the second round by the Rocket, 6-4. So Caven winning the ball, having the advantage of throwing first against Darren Webster, and he's straight into the treble 20. And almost starting off with a maximum. What has Darren Webster got? And a solid ton from the 47-year-old, a man who said that, you know, I'm too long in the tooth now to take over the world. But I'll tell you what, now I'm back in form, I'm going to be the biggest pain in the backside to all the top players in the world. <laughs> yes, he overcome uh, some back problems to make his way back towards the world's top 32. He has been... Uh, Around on the circuit for some time, making his TV debut over a decade ago, back in 2003. Lovely rhythm to this game. This is just going to be bang, bang, bang. No messing about. It's just whoever out of these two can find their best stuff, get into that. Groove. 105. Caven looking at 136 now. And it's on. Oh, needed another in that treble bet. He's left himself double top, but Darren Webster has got two darts you would think at double top. For a break of throw. I with the first and the second. Frustration from the demolition man. Double ten then for Jamie. He can't do it either. So another chance for Webster to break the throw early on in this game. He now wants double ten. Straight in. So an early break of throw here. Yeah, you mentioned all the injury problems Darren Webster's had. had nine months of acupuncture. He was losing feeling down his arms, then it spread to his neck and down the other arm. All kinds of problems. But now he's feeling good again. He's a very, very dangerous customer. Quarterfinals of the World Championships back in 2007. He reckons he's playing as well as he was back in those days. Well, let's hope we do see more of him on the major tournament circuit and the TV events on the comeback trail as Caven looks to fill up the treble 20 bed. Well, a chance now for Jamie Caven to break back. He may get six darts from here. He may not need them. Well, he's going to get a shot. Oh, need a double 16. Let's see if Webster can do it. He wants one four six. Won't happen now with that. So Caven will be back to immediately break back if he can hit this uh, double eight. Bit of double trouble in the opening leg for Jamie Caven. He'll. Just wants to get that first one settling down. That makes things a little bit awkward for him. Eight. Just a double take from the lad from Derby. But double top. There it is. And Darren Webster has consolidated that break. He leads 2-0. And Jamie Caven has had darts in both those first two legs. Number six seed for this Jamie Caven. Probably playing the darts of his life, the former World Youth Master. But right now, his finishing is deserting him. 
Yes, and in this short format, you don't have much time to get your act together and warm up once you're on the stage. Just best of 11 legs, remember. Next up on stage, the asset, Paul Nicholson, up against the man from Finland, Jarko Kamula, who beat Mark Walsh in quite an epic battle in the first round yesterday. Crowd launching into a chorus of Vincent van der Voort, another of the players you'll be seeing. It's going to be one of the fastest games of the day. Vincent van der Voort, Gary Anderson could be one of the best as well. That'll be this evening. That's also when we're seeing the likes of Whitlock and Van Gerwen, Peter Wright and Adrian Lewis. Well, Jamie, well ahead in this uh, leg. He's got a bit of time to sort this out but he'll try and hit the double 16 at the first he attempt and he does so to get a leg on the board. Jamie Cave and that will Ball settle any early nerves. Oh well, yeah, he's got a leg on the board. 136. And he has had darts to win all of these first three legs. He'll be thinking I could be 3-0 up here. But now he's just 95. got that first leg. Just got to keep it going. He has a a great ability, Jamie Caven, to just rattle off a string of legs, all sub-15 darts. As Darren Webster narrowly misses out on his first maximum of the tournament. I well, on the match. Yes, uh, Jamie's been notching up some uh, good results on the Pro Tour in the last 12, or 12, 12 months or so. Back-to-back -back players' championship wins in Wigan uh, back in May. The quarterfinals of the European Championships in July. Yeah, that, of course, perhaps should have been a semi-final place, but for a, losing a 9-3 lead to Simon Whitlock and going down 10-9. Jamie Cayman's playing fantastic dance there. He'd already beaten James Wade to take on Whitlock. And he had him in the palm of his hand, but the Australian managed to turn it round. But look at this from Jamie Cayman. Well, that puts pressure on this 104 for Darren Webster. Double 12 for 3 1 and hits it. A fist pump there from uh, Webster as he extends his lead, re establishes his two leg lead over Caven. Yeah, needing a ton plus checkout to prevent the man from Derby, more than likely getting darts and another leg in this match. But he re establishes his two leg lead. Back comes Caven. Plenty of room for another one there. 140. Makes it count. These guys have met six times in the past. Webster leads it 4-2. But the four times they met last year, just two apiece. The most recent Not meeting yet. was when Webster won it 6-3 in November. There's not a great deal between them both, as I say form players on the circuit well you wouldn't know it from that visit <laughs> and a very rare lax visit from Darren Webster not a great deal in the averages at the moment sort of 93 94 for Webster and 95 96 for Caven but the all-important leg score is the one that tells its own story Whoa. Webster 3-1 up here but Caven a chance to reduce the arrears with double four Clinical Jamie stuff from Cave. Jamie Caven there. He's had a 67 and a 68. But still, it's Darren Webster who holds the advantage. A little bit frustrated after a good first dart that he couldn't follow it with either the next two. Well, two well thrown darts there from Jamie Caven. <laughs> Racing to the board before that third one fell out. Yes, a gazelle-like sprint to the board. 140. Didn't want to end up with 60 points on the floor. 45. Caven runs his own darts academy in Derby. So we had some of the Derby County players down there. Will Hughes for one of them. 60. 
Probably the leading exponent of darts in the East Midlands, I think, Jamie Caven. Andy Hamilton was there for a short spell, but great darts there. 174, as good as a maximum from Jamie Caven. But it's Webster down to a finish first, wanting Shanghai on the 20s when he comes back. But Caven will be looking to put a big dent in this, and he does. So pressure on Webster. Treble would leave double. Double top then for 4-2. Well, he took out 104 a couple of legs ago when Caven was sat there waiting. But now, Jamie Caven yet again has darts for a leg. And this time he takes them. This time Jamie Caven breaks the Webster throw. And it is back on throw here, but Caven has the advantage. He's won three of the last four legs. His average has crept up to 98. And you can see why he's the sixth seed for this tournament. What Yes, early double trouble for Caven, but just starting to find his rhythm and find his range on the stage here at the NH Konigshof Hotel in Veldhoven, just outside Eindhoven. Sell out today and tomorrow for the second and third day of these Dutch Masters 2014. Frustration there for Jamie Cave in three darts pretty much on the wire. And that's an annoying one for Darren Webster. He's below where he needs it to be, but that's a great dart over the top from Darren Webster. Caven having finally broken Webster in the previous leg. He's now in a bit of danger for the man from Norwich. Because a ton 40 here. Well, he's, he came down for the ball and it's not paid off for him. Hitting the seven, but 114 is gettable. Haven, just looking to set this up. He does so very, very well. Leaves himself double top. Only needs one treble here. And it's treble 18 for double top. Darren Webster missed darts in the last leg. He's done it again. He's gone high. And Jamie Caven is sat waiting to pounce. And this is to go ahead for the first time in the match. Decent marker, you would think, and uses it to perfection. Jamie Caven takes a 4-3 lead. And that is four legs in the last five that he has taken. And Darren Webster needs to do something to turn this around. Yes, he had darts there. Did Webster. Didn't hit that crucial double top. Caven stepped in and did that. And the number six seed. Looking to book his place in round three against either Ian White or Terry Jenkins. And what a game that could be. Ian White is playing some very, very nice solid shot. darts at the minute. Fantastic at the World Championships. That's the nice second shot. match on stage tonight. Our evening session starting at 7 o'clock here in Holland, 6 o'clock in the UK. It is all streamed free live and worldwide through the PDC YouTube channel. That's where you'll also find all the interviews with the players from the major tournaments, the behind the scenes stuff. Even me reading a poem at one point. Probably, <laughs> probably not worth subscribing for that particular bit of content, but the rest of it's pretty good. So double eight to bring us back level to four, four yet again. And he'll feel a lot better about that. Darren Webster having missed darts in the last couple of legs for them as Jamie Caven looks to start this off with a maximum. And 140. Yet to see a maximum in this match. Well, Caven hit a 174. Maybe this is it from Darren Webster. 140. The wait goes on. Yes, the average is creeping up as the standard has improved from both men through this game in terms of the scoring. And it still could go either way, you feel. 76. 
just like our opening game of the afternoon where Steve Beaton was beaten by Kevin Thomas 6-5 that one ebbed and flowed and went to a deciding leg 41. but it is the man from South Wales who will take on Mervyn King in round three tomorrow afternoon yeah three missed match darts from Beaton in that one 140 whoever gets a chance in this one will be desperate to seize it Oh, good darts from Darren Webster, but Jamie Caven is looking at 45. We think it'll be five tops. No, 13, double 16 for him. And straight in the double 16. The problems around the edge of the board that beset him in the first few legs seem to have completely dissipated. And now just one more leg needed for victory for Caven, but Webster has the throw here. We'll be looking to hold on to his throw to take us to an 11 leg decider. Good last start from Darren Webster. Solid ton. Oh, who's going to hold their nerve here? Darren Webster. 140. 140. It's another solid leg on his own throat. He's only been broken once in this match, as has Caven. If Webster's going to win, he's got to break Caven again. But first things first, get this leg out of the way. And it, he's looking very, very good for it at the moment. Caven back on 284, and one in the five doesn't help. Oh, Valiant attempt with the third dart to drag himself back into this one. But this is Darren Webster's to lose this leg. It's 31, double top he wants. 51. Not having much fun on double top this match, Darren Webster. Caven knows even if this leg goes away from him, he will have the throw 42. in the deciding leg. And we'll be looking to make that uh, count, but Webster here wants double five. Ten. I think he had a glance there just yeah, to see what uh, Jamie needed as to whether it was worth busting, but... 160, it's doable, and it's on. Moves across the hockey. Jamie Caven won't get a shot at it. It would have been for the match if he had hit another treble 20. Darren Webster, double five he wants. He's high again. Oh, there was another missed double from Darren Webster, but he got the job done in the end. Bit of a sluggish one from Jamie Caven. It is all down to this final leg. Who will hold their nerve? Who will be going through to the last 16 to face either Ian White or Terry Jenkins? Caven has the advantage of the throw, but he looks to have absolutely wasted it. Can Webster take advantage? Well, that'll help. And so will that. Suddenly the tables have turned. Yes, great visit. By the man from Norwich. And Webster really does have a chance to steal it here. Just uh, 60 again from Caven in that last visit. The first match of the afternoon went to a deciding leg. Kevin Thomas beat Steve Beaton there. This one has done the same. And here we go. Caven now has woken up in this leg. And it's good, but it's not good enough. Because Darren Webster's back in the treble bed. And he's still yet to hit a 180 this entire tournament. And yet he's averaged 99. He's currently averaging 93 in this one. And this isn't good enough from Jamie Caven. 85. He's not on a finish. Darren Webster has got six darts from 98. And he just sets it up. Sets it up for double top. Now, double top hasn't helped him out this match. He's missed it more than he's hit it. He's only hit it the once. That was in the second leg. Since then... He's missed it in at least three different legs. Can he find it now for the match? Yes, he can. Darren Webster gets the job done in the deciding leg. Jamie Caven looked to be powering towards victory. But the man from Norwich, the demolition man, has taken out the sixth seed and he's nearly taken out a light on stage as he tripped over.